have you ever entered a church having purpose to give out 500 shillings for example and then at the end of the service you've given out 20k and then you get to the house and you're wondering what the hell happened you know that was my rent money that was my food for the month i've given it all out how am i gonna survive now now these things tend to happen and anytime you try to make sense of what the hell happened to you in church uh you try to share that story with other christians and they basically gaslight you they basically tell you that you do not have the spirit of discernment you don't have the holy spirit you are you are giving out of the flesh they use all these type of terms to make you feel like you're the one who was stupid for having done that and they basically blame it on you and you actually accepted that and yeah it's true it is me who was stupid or and yeah what was i thinking you know but i'm here to inform you that it is possible that you were dragged you were dragged d-r-u-g dragged in church okay and here i'm going to show you how these people are dragging people in church so that you can give out more money okay now these drugs are there in use we've had the stories of people you board a bus uh, somebody rubbed something on your skin the next thing you remember is that you are standing you find yourself standing there at hilton at the bus stop and you're there and you're like okay what the, where the hell am i you know and everything you had on you your bag whatever you had with you has gone or people you go to a nightclub you have your drink spiked and then somebody wakes up in the house and the house everything has been cleared out of the house and you have no recollection whatsoever and then your neighbors are telling you that you came here with visitors you even thought you were moving uh, we thought you were the one who was removing your things from the house in reality you had been dragged these drugs are being used even in churches today one example i'll give is the church of prophet or war this was in the news uh, a couple of years ago you can check it out on youtube it was covered by a number of news media houses okay uh, of this lady who owns um very huge massive rental properties which give out a lot of money and then she was attending this church of prophet or war and what they'd done is that um she had given these properties to the church and this church had come in they taken over the entire property they're collecting the rent but they were keeping this woman in a drug induced state and they had separated her from her family and they locked her up in a room and they're putting drugs in her food and dr drugs they were dragging her and it was her sisters who came in to rescue her and when they went they went in with the media and they actually filmed it and you can actually see this woman you can see her mental state is all disoriented and everything and so these people are actually using drugs to make you remove money in church okay how are they doing it leave alone those big stories let me tell you about how it happens in churches now today now this thing for placing hands on you this thing has been used to drag people okay i remember in 2011 2012 a church where i was at that time uh this method was being used now this placing hands thing it's the oldest method and what they were doing is that the the altar call it was not just the people who are sick or the people who want to get born again who had people place hands on them it was the whole church we are being removed seat by seat row by row we don't want you to miss out on this anointing they actually make it look like they're actually caring for you by telling you to go have man of god place his hands on you so it make this long line it would take so long to have the whole church but that is what they were doing okay and so in that church we used to give out title deeds people gave out myself i was earning 22k at that time and i remember i'd remove only my my transport for the month everything else i give it out and i'm left borrowing money for food i'm left borrowing money for to do my things i was constantly in debt i couldn't be able to organize my finances ever because of this church okay so this method is very old today uh these pastors know that you are skeptical about having them placing hands on you so they tell you that the holy spirit is able to reach where you are without them putting hands on you yeah that doesn't mean that they are not dragging you can still be dragged even if somebody didn't put hands on you how does that happen let me give you an example this church when you look at the church when you enter the church compound or when you look at the building from outside you can see the building has windows because no architect builds a building without windows okay so this church has actually windows but when you get inside the church the windows have been sealed off completely okay and they're using an artificial ventilation system they are these artificial acs and they have artificial fans and everything but they also simultaneously use these small humidifiers which produce a like smell or they produce a like steam uh in their place now that humidifier it has drugs in it they're putting drugs in it okay so when you enter you inhale these drugs they enter your nervous system through your nose and they enter your brain and now you're not able to think or to even remember that you have rent to pay eh? and they give out all this money I remember for me those those smells of the church the first few minutes i'm so vexed by the smell and then afterwards i'm just so easy about it and then and i used to wonder what that is you know there's a smell in the church and I, I anyway those were drugs it was drugs okay think about it why would somebody let's say a church sits 500 people okay why would somebody 
seal off all the ventilation and then put in an artificial system to circulate the air and then pay more electricity uh, to have the AC running. Okay. Well, they are just open the windows and then put in a fan. Okay, it's because they're trying to concentrate those chemicals in that place so that you can be able to stop thinking. Okay, it is more expensive, but it makes them more money from you. Uh, yeah. In addition, they also use um, the lighting system. The lights, they, 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 they build these really beautiful sanctuaries. They make it so beautiful. And then they put these artificial lights. They sell out all the natural light and then they put in these artificial lights. And it's so beautiful. When you're there sitting there in this drug induced state, um, you see, you feel like you're in heaven. They've created an atmosphere. They call it the atmosphere of heaven, the ambience of the presence of the lord you are dragged my friend eh? and these people who attend these churches they are so addicted to church this person even if it is a job which has sent them out of town they must be back in nairobi they must be back in their city to go back to that church and not any other church when they enter any other church they feel like they didn't go to church why it's because of the addiction of that drug which they are making you inhale in those churches okay and um there's a lot more I can say there, but anyway, let's leave it at that. Eh? In addition, the sound systems in the church, they make the music so loud. You can barely hear yourself thinking. Okay? The music is so loud. I'm walking in power. I walk in. This music is so loud. If you, if you dare sit next to a speaker, your ears for the next two days, you'll not be able to hear anything. The microphone or the pastor, they set it so loud. And so what basically they're trying to do is to drown out your mind. They're trying to drown out your ability to think. And so um, anything they tell you goes. Anything that they are telling you, it just you, they, they tell you that you must sow a seed. You give it. Okay? So this is what they are doing. Okay? They use the very loud music. In addition, the Holy Communion drinks. The Holy Communion, they spike that drink with, dr with drugs. The Nigerian church where I was, the ushers, the ushers are people who are very scared. The, the, the ushers were scared people. They had been terrorized, literally. And so they used to have an usher for every row. Okay. And when the Holy Communion comes, they distribute the cups. The usher is giving out these cups. If she gives out 10 cups on that row, when they're coming back, they had better be 10 cups. And they used to count those cups after the service to make sure that not a single cup went missing. And so how much money does a plastic cup cost? It was not about the cups. It was about the drugs that they put in. Because if you get out just one cup, okay, and you take it to a lab and you analyze it, you'll be able to be, to prove that these people are actually dragging you into giving money. Okay? So these Holy Communion drinks are also being spiked to make you not think. In addition, in that church, I remember what they were doing. Um, Holy Communion in Christianity is only for the believers. Okay? There's a whole teaching about it in the book of Corinthians that the Holy Communion is only for believers. But in that church, even if you come in and you're not a believer, that's not a problem. Just come and pray for you two minutes. Repeat after me. Lord Jesus, that's Cassina's prayer. Eh? And then after that, you take your Holy Communion and everybody had to take this communion okay this was drugs that they were giving us um the other thing they do is that they keep you very busy you are always busy for the lord they tell you you are serving the lord you are a good person you're a servant of the lord you keep you busy i remember the church where i was on monday there was prayer service on tuesday there was bible study remember you're working eight to five in the evening when you leave work at five you have to go to church because there's something going on and you cannot miss monday there's prayer service tuesday there's bible study wednesday there's fellowship thursday there's worship team re uh, rehearsals on friday there's kesha on saturday there's a committee meeting or a partners meeting or one of those departmental meetings and then on sunday the service will start from 7 a.m you're supposed to be in church as a servant of this house of god eh? at 7 a.m you leave church at uh the service will end at 3 p.m okay and then at 3 p.m pastor wants to see you for another meeting and these other meetings 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 you leave church at 6 p.m so you never have time for your family you never have time for your kids you never t have time to sit down in a quiet place to think and meditate even on the word of god itself okay why well, you kept so busy and every time you go they're putting these drugs in there so there's no time when your body will ever detox out of those drugs and you come back to your senses so these people are actually dragging one another in these churches and uh it's not enough to say that um I won't, so long as they don't have somebody placing hands on me, I'm fine. You're not fine, my friend. Eh? They can still drag you without placing hands on you. Hmm? Um, if you really are looking for God, please study the word of God. Study the Bible. Sit in the quiet place at home. You, you yourself, you are the temple of the Holy Spirit. You are a royal priesthood. Ha. You have the ability to study the word of God and to hear from God directly. You don't need that kind of a church okay so be very careful when you see those type of things happening ac mefungwa they have this smell in the church please be careful of such things